There's this emotional letter written by Sonia Gandhi to the son of Sheila Dixit, Sandeep Dixit. I just want to read out an excerpt from that. I'm going to quote her here. My heart filled with grief and a great sense of loss for your beloved mother occupied a huge space in it. I came to share my husband's regard for Sheila Ji and to value her very special gifts as I developed my own close relationship with her. We were closely together during the years she was Chief Minister of Delhi, DPCC Chief and Secretary of the Indira Gandhi Memorial Trust. She brought grace, humanity, wisdom and excellence to everything she did. And with what courage and loyalty she served the Congress party till the end. I pray that you find the strength to bear your loss." Unquote. Mr. Singh, whoever we've heard over the last few hours has one thing to say about Sheila Dixit, which is she took everyone with her. And the irony lies in the fact that she actually is an accidental politician. It really was Indira Gandhi who spotted her, her talents, and then sent her as part of an Indian delegation to the UN. And then it was Rajiv Gandhi who insisted that she's a part of his cabinet. It's been a very long journey with the Congress. Undoubtedly. You know, in fact, in 90s, we have seen that how Congress has gone through a very tough phase. And she was so very optimistic. See, being a politician, one has the emotional quotient, intelligence quotient. But when it comes down to optimistic quotient, you know, it, she, ha she, she was carrying an overflowing optimistic quotient with her. And, uh, you know, we have seen it how during Commonwealth game, uh, in fact, you know, she took the entire delegates of entire uh, people who have come along in that uh, uh, Commonwealth game to that sky uh, sky top restaurant, and she showed the Delhi, you know, to all these people, and she said, "Brother, look, this is the place. You know, Delhi is a green Delhi. Delhi is such a beautiful, you know. I mean, if you're going to have this Commonwealth game here, it will certainly going to help. And also, you know, I mean, the Rajdeep sir, sir, this I last." interview he was asking her ki ma'am you are 82 now she said no i am 81 <laughs> yes. look, look at the presence of mind yes. and when she yes. was like you know how is the josh see like you know she was one such leader who was who always had this overflowing seeking spirit yes. her and courage conviction compassion is something which can never be you know i mean uh, and speaking of rajdeep sir this he joins me on the phone line you know rajdeep we've been speaking to reporters politicians since yesterday they all have to say that uh, uh, sheila dikshit was a person who carried everyone with her they know her as a woman with an iron fist but a gentle heart. Any anecdotes you'd like to share with us of the time you spent with her as a reporter? You know, uh, from my anecdotes are largely of how of her warmth. You could ring her up early in the morning and uh, you know say that you wanted to come and see her and she said, well, come and have breakfast with me. Now, how many politicians, you, if you ring up at 8 in the morning, will immediately tell you, come and have breakfast with me. So, you know, her heart was open and her doors were always open for justice. Uh, you know, I think that made her stand out. Uh, I remember I was trying during the 2013 Delhi ele elections to try and do a face-off between her and Arvind Kejriwal. And uh, she turns to me and says, I know you want TRP, <laughs> but uh, surely... Uh, there are better ways to do it than have a fight between me and Mr. Kejriwal. Why do you want to position the two of us as as, for, as enemy? So I know she was she knew about TRP and she knew that you know that that a journalist was looking for that little bit of masala, and she wasn't going to give it very easily. But she was you know she would say it with a smile, so you didn't want to even argue with her. So I think that was the success that she had even in politics that she was able to reach out people across the spectrum. And I think she was there at the right place at the right time, Vedika. Delhi was slowly becoming more and more of an urban middle class city. It was coming into its own. And I think Sheila Dixit simply came to symbolize that new aspirational Delhi. And she was able to bridge the gap between uh, uh, between so-called New Delhi or Latian Delhi and the rest of Delhi. One more thing, she loved movies. Mm -hmm. So whenever, uh, or, you know, particularly on Fridays, uh, she would try on Friday or a Saturday. If she got time off, she would try and watch the latest movie. And right. the last time I met her, uh, she was slowly getting into the world of Netflix. <laughs> and, uh, you know, she was very keen on the latest serials and, and the day she loved Amitabh Bachchan and Rajesh Khanna films. So, you know, she could speak about Bachchan and Khanna with the same enthusiasm that she might speak about uh, politics in the city. So, there was more to Sheila Dixit than just politics. And I think that's what set her apart, you know. She was a politician with a heart mm -hmm. because she had, in a way, uh, you know, uh, embraced, uh, embraced society. 
it was not for her just about fiction management or you know pitting one neta against the other that was true of the delhi congress for the longest time but she was able to rise above it yeah. by offering something more than the usual neta giri so from a journalist perspective you know you will i i would turn around and say kahan wo log because they represented i think sheila dikshit represented uh, a certain class of genteel politicians with whom you could have a conversation without being dubbed you know anti national khan market gang she was very much part of the khan market gang she was proud to say that but that didn't mean that she didn't uh, want to reach out to those living in an east delhi or a west delhi so i think she was able to rise above the narrow confines of polarized politics and that's why i will remember her fondly and you know you could talk about her to her as i said about movies you could talk to her about uh, uh, about about uh, the flowers of delhi and you could also talk to her about politics and that you know that that's something that you you don't find to offer in today's data rajdeep thanks for sharing your anecdote with us there and also rajdeep sir this i spoke with uh, sheila dikshit in may this year let's just listen in to that very interesting conversation between the two of them is this a uh, election you are fighting reluctantly that you have been pushed into the battle honest answer i well, was asked to do it that's right i didn't ask for it but i would you say that i am reluctant now that i am in the fray i will fight it to the best of my ability and my strength you are doing it at an age when many would retire from politics where does this energy come from at 82 to fight an election 81. can't be easy 81 81, 81. yes sorry 81 can't be sorry for making you one year older uh, but where does the energy come from inspiration i love my country and i love my party so this is what makes inspires me to do anything then i don't think of how old i am or how young i am you said rahul gandhi virtually pushed you into fighting this election am i right that you were reluctant and you know and and he said no sheila ji you have to fight when he said that that you are right and when having said that then i wasn't reluctant anymore i had to do it and i'm doing it but you are doing it at a time when the congress aap alliance hasn't worked out many say you were one of those who was against the alliance right through absolutely i was i didn't want to get al allied with a with a party which was really an a small little party i would say a non starter i are you being arrogant when you say that the very party defeated you smashed you in 2015 so what we smashed other parties three years consecutively that doesn't make us the greatest and then the least but as a This result what has happened is your vote the anti bjp vote could get divided and many believe this will give the bjp the advantage in this election people believe na i don't believe that if i believed that many of my people would get discouraged and will not contest this is not the way to look at politics when you're representing a party which has such a long history you know we are proud of that you're proud of that but do you agree that your this is your fighting this election with your back to the wall the modi wave is being talked about in urban india do you see it or not no i don't you don't no, see a modi i wave. don't see a modi wave at all i see that we are fighting equally and i hope that the congress will win over here in delhi how do you respond to arvind kejriwal who's blaming you rahul gandhi for the break up in this alliance saying you all are not serious about fighting mr modi and the bjp you are giving mr modi and the bjp a free pass what about mr whatever his name is kejriwal himself yes. what has he done tell me what has he done to delhi ever since he's been here even one thing he has done everything has only been completion of what we had started is it that there is a sense of hurt that he made allegations of corruption against you in the commonwealth games camp so this is a very personal between you and arvind no, kejriwal no no it doesn't uh, hurt me because i know that i'm clean and clear so all my public life nobody has to be be able to prove any corruption against me i don't feel afraid of it. is this your last battle shila ji is this your last final bat election battle do you see yourself still there a year later when there are delhi assembly elections so i can't say that i see myself a year later at the moment i'm con concentrating on the present i must ask you for all octogenarians uh, you know all those 80 plus what is it that keeps you all going what is it what is the what is what would you tell all the uh, senior citizens watching this show you reach 80 and you will know you reach 80 and you know i mean i'm i i'm at 53 struggling and you are at 82 fighting an election thanks for watching the video 
for more such news and updates please like share and subscribe to india today also check out our other great videos from our channel we know you would love to